so today's the day i'm finally gonna start working on my little saloon right here i say a little but it's gonna be pretty big in fact here's the actual um you know the footprint of it the uh the foundation for it um i gotta say this isn't gonna be like a tutorial on how to build it i'm just gonna build it in this video you might get a good understanding of how i built it in the video as well but i just gotta say it's not a tutorial and i won't be doing one i don't really do building tutorials but um yeah so in terms of the actual size on the outside we've got four triangles four squares i believe this goes on for another five and then it meets two triangles and then interestingly enough right here we actually have like the perfect space left over for a uh, a quarter foundation so you can see it kind of overlaps a little bit there um but that's okay you know i i kind of worked that into the build just a little bit and uh another thing is that we're actually not going to be having this visually even looking like adobe it's going to look like the frontier structures which is going to look a lot nicer than the adobe um although what i probably might want to do is i might want to try and rotate these so the boards actually face in like the same direction i don't know if i'll do that i might try because obviously i don't want it like all kind of random or whatever like that so yeah i do have to say um we suffered some creature losses between episodes and um i think i'll just have to roll the clip so you guys can get you get kept up to date because um yeah it was pretty significant so yeah here's the clip well, we just lost a bunch of creatures there this turd over here was clearly i, I don't know if he was raging or not he just destroyed the parasaur uh my morella tops and then also i think he killed lucky i was like scrambling to open up obs there oh my god yeah lucky's dead too what the hell why seriously bro what are you what level are you even are you level 90 ah oh, that sucks they were fighting him i could see the damage numbers the parasaur died first oh man that sucks yeah, he just massacred them all. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, that, that really sucks. I'm just, like, running around collecting resources. Like, the things are just running in constantly. Ah, uh, yeah, that really sucks. Damn it, dude. He didn't kill anything else, did he? Yeah, lucky brainworms in the power store. Yeah, it is what it is, though. Like, you know, I, I wasn't anywhere near them. Uh, I didn't even know the battles happening. I'll tell you right now, I actually don't even have my game volume on. I don't usually have it on when I'm not uh, recording. <laughs> For as, as silly as that is as an idea, I, I usually am listening to other stuff and I don't want to listen to a bunch of arc noises <laughs> while, while I'm trying to like watch a show or something. But yeah, that uh, that sucks. But I mean, I, I wasn't, I, I don't, I don't actually know what was happening to be honest. Like Megatheriums don't usually just attack things. So it might've, you know, maybe like a bug died and, and it went into the rage mode or whatever. I have no idea. Why aren't they coming? Oh, they're probably full of stone. Yeah, they, they would usually end up doing that. Yeah, this thing's just been sitting here collecting stone, clearly. <laughs> There's so much in there. I didn't even know. Hang on, how much do you have? Damn, yeah. So these stone nodes might be respawning and they're just sitting on them and, you know, Dodix will automatically gather the stones, so... Yeah, that's that's kind of handy. This one here can move though, so that's good. It, it, I just want to keep that one safe. I, I think I'm just gonna have everybody over here where I'm like working away, um, just basically running around collecting resources, getting everything ready for this build. But yeah, let me. Uh, oh, we also still have the terror bird as well, which is great. Let me. Um, let me just continue doing what I'm doing. So yeah, unfortunately, all those guys died. You know, I wasn't in the area. Like I wasn't watching them. It just kind of happened. You know. You can blame me. It's fine. That's okay. You know, I don't I don't really mind. Um, obviously, I could set up a bunch of walls and spikes and all that stuff, but uh, I'm just not bothered because I'm, I'm busy doing what I want to be doing, which is this. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it is what it is. You know, we'll we'll rebuild. We'll we'll retame. You know, ne I didn't necessarily even really need a Parasaur anymore. Um, Lucky was probably the one creature that I'm kind of a little bit bummed out about because having a, a decently powerful, um, you know, carnivore is, is pretty useful. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll tame another one at some stage. We still have the terror bird. It's not that great, obviously, but yeah. So you know what? Speaking of, I'm actually going to go ahead and just, uh, nope, not that. I'm going to just pull everybody in again because I think the main issue is, is that I'm just not bringing them. I'm not pulling them all in enough because they keep wandering really far away because like they'll attack something and then i most of the time the parasaur would do its roar on it and then that creature would run away and then 
everything would chase it. So yeah, they'd end up really, really far away from the base, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Anyway, I have moved these so they actually are all facing in the right direction now. And uh, yeah, let's let's start off with this build. So first of all, um, the front area is actually going to be more of like a little kind of like deck, like a porch type thing. Um, so let's see, what am I looking for? All right, so we're going to start off by going ahead and just putting down some stairs here. And then I should have some railings. And then we got some railings right here. Everything, like I said, is, is actually going to eventually be um, the frontier structures. But I got to place them down like this first. That's just the way that it works. I actually really like the Adobe railings now. They look a lot nicer than they looked before. Definitely. So we're just going to switch those to the frontier ones anyway, which look obviously nicer. I, I like these a lot, actually. They look very, very cool. Then I think, yeah, we'll, we'll put some here as well. Can't remember if I had them there on my build at all. And then obviously these stairs are going to be switched too. So this is kind of like the front uh, porch kind of thing. And then let me see. So the way that this all works, because obviously this is a weird shape. You may be wondering how everything fills in. There will be some structure overlap, but that's just kind of the way that it's going to have to be. Uh, let me just double check that these are going to face in the right direction. They are not really? Come on, bro. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me figure out. I don't like the way that you can't, like, rotate the skin on the structures at all. If I snap that to there... Wait, where? what way do I have to snap this to get it to actually face in the right direction? No? Okay. So maybe if I snap from, from here? Is that going to do it? How the hell do I get it to face the other way? Bro. What is this crap? Uh, not that way. All right, well, you know what? I'll at least like floor it out just to show you the way that it's gonna work. So I believe I come out by a couple like that um, and then back here a little bit. And then I think, yeah, we put a triangle here. Uh, let's switch that to triangle, nice. And then, yeah, let me just try and, I'll just place them all out. You can just see the pattern and if you want to uh, to just recreate it, then you can just look at what I did. Although it's not going to be super obvious because you can't really see the borders on these very well, but yeah. Either way, though, from all the way back here, we actually, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, the quarter ceilings right here. I'm going to snap that specifically to this side just so it's not, like, that it's overlapping in the middle, not on the side. So we're going to come forward by a couple of these. I think the main thing is actually trying to get this part right, which is the triangles. So basically just going to create a pattern like this i know if you're wondering why i'm actually using uh triangle sorry ceilings in general at this point the main reason is i i just want to save on resources ceilings are a lot cheaper than um foundations and these don't need to be foundations you know so it's just simply just trying to save resources plus i might eventually put some air cons under here just to kind of cool the area a little bit as well so yeah but uh the main thing was i remember that there was a triangle right here that was kind of, um, like, not really essential, but it just kind of uh, allowed me to fill out this area a little bit better. But again, I'm probably going to have to tear all this up to try and figure out how the hell to make <laughs> to, to make the thing face the other direction. I, I don't understand. Um, let's see. So, yeah, at this stage, you can see there's not, like, any actual structure overlap. But I believe if I go like this, um, let's see. Then if we place those like that there, just kind of like trying to like close a lot of these gaps. Back here is all going to be these um, these quarter ceilings. All right, had to make some more structures. So let's get back to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and snap this to there. So they're actually overlapping in the middle here. Um, we're left with this like weird shape. And let's see, how did I cover this one up? I think I went like this and just made like a full uh, like pizza here. There we go. Cool. So... Yeah, that's, that's basically how I did all this. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to use it the way that it is because a lot of these... Okay, those are facing in the right direction. That's a good start. But, like, a lot of these structures are facing, like, in the wrong direction. I, I want them all facing the same one just to make it, obviously, look nice on the ground. <laughs> it's just irritating. But, yeah. So, I'll just show you what it looks like when it's all filled in. It doesn't really matter a whole lot, but, um, yeah. Oh, that is so stupid. How do I get them to face the other way? I, I've never had this issue with, like, the wood uh, ceilings and stuff because you can see what way they're facing. With a with Adobe, you don't know. Like, it just looks the same on both. So, like, I can't... Like, yeah. I mean, I guess I can tell from these little studs then. I don't know. Yeah. 
but I'm gonna have to rip up all the ones that aren't facing in the right direction and replace them down, which is not fun. <laughs> well, there we go. I got them all done, though now we have some weird visual gaps. Not really sure why they're there. I can't make them go away. I'm just gonna ignore it for the moment, and if we have to deal with it later, I'll deal with it. I'll probably just try and cover it up with like a table or something. <laughs> anyway, let's see. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna start out the actual build. So let's switch this to a double doorway. This is gonna be like our main entranceway into the uh, the building. So let's see. Let me just make sure that I actually snapped the correct one on there. Did I, I feel, is that the outside or the inside? I think that's the outside. So yeah, let's see. Um, we're just gonna place our double doorway in the middle. We have some walls on the side. And then along here, we're gonna do a layer of the um, the quarter walls. And then on top of this, I'll show you in just one second. Let me just get two more of these up here. One, two. On top of this, we're gonna go ahead and place uh, a wall. And then using the frontier structures, we're gonna switch that to glass. Uh, we're actually gonna be switching all of these, of course, to the frontier ones. So it's going to look really, really nice in the end. But uh, yeah, so specifically glass for these ones. That's going to be like our kind of like our windows into uh, this uh, the saloon. It's going to look really cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a couple more windows there. Let me just go ahead. I'll just do like one side and then I'll just... Oh, crap. And then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and um, just do the other side off cam or whatever. So yeah, you can see the progress here. I'm going to go ahead and pop those down there. Now, from here, I need to snap onto this one, the top of this one specifically. It was a lot easier in single player where I could fly, but there we go. Cool. Because um, obviously, when you can see the top of the structure, you can snap to it a lot easier. But um, yeah, so basically what we've done here is we have like a trim of the quarters. They're coming up to there. And then on the very top here, we're going to be using full uh, pieces. So yeah, um, it looks a little bit strange, but don't you worry. It's going to look a lot nicer later on. Got a little bit of heat stroke coming in here as well, but it's all good. I'm just, uh, for the most part, I'll probably end up letting my character die many, many times throughout this whole process. I actually forgot to switch these to the glass. Um, I don't really care too much. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, constantly try to keep my character alive. It's just easier for my character to burn through all of the uh, the food and water and overheat and everything and die and just respawn fresh and new. So, yeah. One thing I actually forgot to make completely was uh, pillars. So, I actually don't really have any of those. But I, I do need many pillars for this whole project. So, hopefully I can uh, I can get working on making some of those later. But uh, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to place a layer of the quarters. And then on top of that, we're going to place the, uh, the full walls. Let's see. Let me try and... Let's just kind of... There we go. Cool. We got that. And once we have one, it's a lot easier. You can kind of just like point to that one and uh, then place down the other one. So let's see. Got to switch that back to the regular ones. I actually really like the way that they've done these structure skins. Like the way that you're able to like kind of choose between the different ones. Obviously, not every single one of these skins suits every single thing, but it's still pretty nice. Let's actually get the little saloon doors in. Let's see, I've got many, many doors. There they are. They look a bit weird as Adobe doors. I don't know why. I got like, they, they look very strange to me. Uh, we're going to switch those to saloon doors and boom, that sets the tone for the whole build. All right, so we're just getting it all built up here. Um, went ahead and just placed down some more. So we just did a layer of walls, a layer of the uh, quarter walls, and then another layer of regular walls. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and pop on those skins to make them look all so pretty. So yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Um, right here at the very back, as we know, this is uh, three quarters um, wide. So we're going to go ahead and just snap them accordingly. Uh, it's it's going to work out perfectly for us. Just all of this is just going to be quarter walls instead of having a mix of quarters and regular walls. Let's see. Uh, I want to try and maybe snap them properly so the beams going up all match. I don't know if I've done it correctly so far. Let's see yeah that looks okay i think right yeah let's uh let's go ahead and just pop on the skin then i can pick up some of them if i need to what the hell's happening oh, god something else is attacking yeah i think i definitely just want an auto turret <laughs> like i i don't want to have to deal with creatures constantly coming into my base and i don't want a giant spike wall mess around the place so yeah just uh just gonna pop down an auto turret at some stage 
<laughs> oh my god. Do I even have auto turrets unlocked? I actually don't know. Uh, yes, I do. Cool. I thought they were like around level 70, although I think I'm past level 70 now. No, I'm still level 69. Nice. Uh, cool. So yeah, this is like the whole ground floor. Um, we're gonna have to get the Procoptodon out of here before we start placing anything else. So that's like the whole ground floor. We're gonna have like a little bit of a, uh, a roof coming down over these top walls. That's why I left it so plain looking. There's gonna be a lot of pillars in there as well, making it look really nice. But we do have to work on, on making those. I think I might make the pillars specifically just out of wood just to save on some resources because... You know, a lot of the walls and everything, I, I felt like they might need to be adobe just to try and, you know, make the place nice and cool. But I think with the rest of the stuff, we probably don't need to do that. So let's see. Uh, we're going to need some more wood. Got all these bushes around here, though, thankfully. We just go ahead and just do this. We'll drop all the berries in a sec. And yeah, that's a decent amount of wood so far. Okay, while well, the sandstorm was active, it kind of felt pointless to try and show you anything. So let me just show you what I've done. Went ahead and placed all those pillars right there. Uh, I can't place the skin from the back of this guy, so I'll have to wait a minute to do that. Then from here, I snapped on... This is a scaffolding piece, so you can switch them to the uh, the sloped scaffolding pieces if you want. I snapped that onto there, and then snapped another one below it facing outwards like this. Also went ahead and placed this guy down right here. We're not going to put skins onto this. The main reason is because I want it to look like that specifically. So let's get up here and just place those skins on these things. I actually really like the pillars in the Frontier skin set. Looks very, very nice. So yeah, we're just kind of like framing out the window a little bit. I think it looks great. By the way, I do know I'm thirsty. I, I If I can find my shovel, I'll get some water. <laughs> Again, like I'll probably let my character die many, many times. You know what? Let's just drink some cactus sap or eat it, which is also technically drinking because we're filling up on food and water. Probably the best food in the game right now, actually. Maybe not for healing, but, you know, just for filling up, I think. Anyway, from here, what we're going to go ahead and do now is um, I need the roof pieces. And I probably need a couple more. I actually also need some triangle ones, which are not ones that I made. So, yeah, we're going to have to make some of those at some point soon. We're just going to snap those off of that uh, scaffolding piece. Going to come along like that. Uh, we're also eventually going to go ahead and switch them to these frontier skin pieces as well and yeah that's the kind of look that we're going for here do i have any more wood pillars because i actually need those uh yeah i do okay cool i'll just show you this one bit and then uh, i'll probably skip ahead and just get a bunch of this done so let's see we're gonna switch that to a thin wood pillar which is one of the new uh structure variants for the for the actual pillar itself and then what we're going to do is then underneath that, we're going to snap a normal wood pillar. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch this to a frontier one. This currently doesn't have a frontier um, variant. So maybe they'll add that eventually. If they do, um, then I'll, maybe I'll switch it to it. Currently, I, I'll probably have to paint that to make it look closer to this stuff because it's a little bit too bright. But that's kind of like the look that we're going for here. So I'm going to have to snap in a bunch of these. Uh, there it is. Boom and there and there so everywhere that you see one of those we're gonna have a pillar coming up to this height so yeah i just i gotta get a lot of that done though okay a couple more little updates here so as you can see i placed all those pillars on the outside i also did the middle i'm sure you can tell what i did there just a couple of the uh the triangle pieces and then what i did was i just snapped a bunch of the pillars uh the beams sorry going along the outside of the uh of the roof pieces there so yeah that's pretty much that for the moment. There is a couple more details that I'll probably end up doing. Like, I think I want to have some beams, uh, the thin beams, coming from, like, there to there. But I think for the moment, I'm just going to save on the resources and just try to get the actual structure itself done. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the outside for, like, the first layer. On top of this, though, we will actually have another layer. So let's see. Let me see if I can snap that up there properly. Right there, nice. And then... Uh, nope, not like there. That's not where I was looking at all. Looking up there. Just try to look at the edge of the structure. <laughs> so, yeah. Basically, gonna, gonna go ahead and have, like, a little kind of balcony on the outside up here. But just in general, this whole layer right here is gonna need to be filled in. And what we can do from here is just mirror what we have on the ground here. So, everything that we placed uh, on the inside level of all this is gonna have to be placed in ceiling form up here with some exceptions but i'll probably break those holes later there's gonna be a stairs over there we'll fit we'll figure that all out later but um 
Yeah, let's see. So that's like three, and then it was a triangle. And then, let's see. Yeah, there was a couple more. Yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to recreate the floor. Might actually be easier if I just got up there on my kangaroo. Where is he? There he is. All right, not a crazy amount of stuff done, but I did finish off the whole ceiling. And next up, we got to like frame out our next kind of layer to this building, which is going to involve pretty much adding a door into the middle right here. Maybe wondering how the hell do you do that? Because obviously you can't snap like a door into there. But what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and place this here. And off of that, we can actually snap our, uh, there we go. I keep hitting all the wrong buttons. We can snap our actual door, but we need to switch it to a door first. Let's see. Ooh, can I get that off there, please? There we go. And then switch that to a door. Boom. Sweet. So obviously frontier structures going to look a lot nicer. Yeah. Now we just need to snap two more of these onto this side. That's backwards, isn't it? So yeah, this is our uh, our door right here. By the way, I'm very, very hurt. And all my armor is almost fully broken. I got this like weird looking uh, stripper cowboy kind of look going on right now. I don't know. Some of you might be into it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, basically this is going to be the, uh, the way out into this like little balcony here. But it's not going to be like an incredibly important part of the actual build. Uh, let's see. Let me just look at my reference photos. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure... We go ahead and pretty much just snap all these along here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place three of them going up like this. And then on top of this, we're going to go ahead and just snap a couple of these as well. Then we're going to go ahead and snap along this top layer here. Not there. <laughs> Not there at all. All right. And then we'll do the same on the other side in just a minute. Let me just see. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure from here, it's actually just a bunch of pillars. Let's see, so they need to be up like that. Wait, no, sorry, they're coming down from here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna snap a pillar between each of these, and it's gonna kind of like section them like little windows almost, and we're gonna go ahead and snap another pillar underneath as well. But um, yeah, it's gonna like section them out like little windows like that. Uh, so let me show you. Let me just switch some of these structures. So let me use maybe this one here as like reference. Uh, we're just gonna need a regular wall. I'm gonna snap that there which looks weird now but watch this we're gonna switch that to the windows as you can see you don't see it down here anymore right you just see it there so from the outside we got glass really cool right I like that a lot actually so let's go ahead and just switch these pillars first but obviously yeah, I need to go ahead and, and grab some more things it's just like a constant like a uh, mix of like oh I need this thing or I need this thing and I need this thing so yeah lots and lots of work but I just I want to show you like the basic kind of idea of this and you know if you want to you can recreate it uh it's up to you from here though it should be a lot easier actually i can snap off of uh this one here there we go a little bit goofy looking when you're doing it but it works boom and boom nice and we will of course be snapping pillars underneath there as well all right so here's the update um i went ahead and just did the exact same thing on the other side as well uh put in all those pillars let me show you from the other side. Ooh, no, I got to hop out of K mode first so we can get the proper jump going. There we go. Cancel the jump by hitting space. Um, so yeah, what I did here was, um, of course, we have the, the pillars kind of coming down. But then what I wanted to do was I wanted some pillars meeting in like the middle here. So you can see what I did was I went ahead and... Um, Wait, hang on. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, no, it's this one here. Hang on. There you go. So you can see I basically like I think they're snapping off of the walls that I have there because right here is like a f is like a full wall. Um, right. Eh, I can't like point or anything. I don't have a weapon on me. It's fine. Um, but yeah, like, oh, yeah, right here. So we have a wall right there and we're basically snapping that onto the outside. But obviously that leaves us with this part here that had to actually snap underneath this pillar because we don't have a wall inside of all that to be able to snap to so um yeah here let me show you what the inside looks like and also i went ahead and just put that peak right there and then just put a couple of roof pieces in here uh just kind of like planning out the next part because that of course will be the official roof to the whole building um and yeah we're actually getting through this a lot faster than i think that i thought we would have but um yeah so obviously those pillars coming down have to kind of do something because otherwise they're just going to look like this wait i have an extra one there do i I definitely have an extra one. Why do I have extra ones? Okay, clearly I did something wrong here because it's not supposed to be that many. Uh, they're also kind of in like different areas. 
I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, but yeah, it should look like this. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And then what I did was I just put a beam kind of going between them because otherwise it's kind of like, uh, it's, it looks like this right here. Um, so I figured having a beam going between them, at least kind of close up that gap a little bit, makes it look a little bit no more normal. But, um, yeah, that's just kind of like interior stuff that we're just going to have to work around. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the building so far. I think I'm going to take a break. Um, and then we'll come back to this in a little bit. Um, I will just kind of like build on to what we're doing right now. Just real quick. Just kind of show you what the plan is going forward. So right here where you see these, uh, these peaks, we have these roof pieces that we're going to be snapping on. Can I snap on there as well? So there, those are going to come back. Um, let's see. Let me just hop off of my guy. That makes it a little bit easier. Um, yeah. So those are going to be coming back quite a bit. I think it's like four, right? so let me look at my reference photo i think it's like four so basically i'm gonna have this loop from here all the way to there um and i can't remember how i did that so i need to take a look at what i did in single player uh no not there Let's see i think i can't remember how i did it but you can see they kind of like touch there but obviously the opposite side here i can't remember how i did it basically yeah they're gonna they're gonna end up like looping around uh kind of like that and then obviously this is already touching so yeah i don't i don't really know how to describe it but yeah so um <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing a great job I'm a little bit uh a little bit heat struck myself in real life uh it's very warm in my office i should probably open up my window um yeah so that's that's basically the roof to this part um we will of course also be switching this to the uh frontier structure skins as well of course um even though i actually i do like the adobe i just don't think we'll use the adobe roofs uh for this actual uh part of the build um and then let's see i can't remember i i need to fill this part in and then yeah i think what i need to do is like figure out the outside bit yeah lots of lots to do basically um there's gonna be some rooms up here we're gonna have a staircase start from like over here somewhere um we're gonna have like two little bedrooms so like one here it's gonna be like this kind of whole square right here and then another one over here and then in the middle we'll have like a little storage room and um i'll probably end up putting some like saddles and some other things into there just to kind of get them out of the way for the moment uh i need some more cactus do i have any but um yeah so that's that's kind of what's uh happening right now um lots more to do lots more for me to take a look at my single player build and, and figure it out but um yeah we're, we're totally getting there it's it's looking really nice let me just kind of move away from it a little bit and just kind of show you it from a distance yeah you know obviously it's not done yet but it's looking really good so far um and then on the top uh, right here we're gonna have a billboard with the actual sign for these uh, for the saloon so yeah lots uh lots still to do all right so i took a little look at how i actually did this section on the roof and it's actually fairly simple um i think i was over complicating it in my head so we're snapping a triangle slope right there we're gonna snap another one here they kind of overlap a little bit but that's okay um and then from the back here we're just gonna basically do the same um let's just go ahead and maybe snap this one as well and then we just do that and then one of these and then from here we're just gonna what did i do this one again oh i think it's two pieces that i might have to do let me see i feel like that's right let me just check i think yeah, yeah i actually made a mistake when i was uh place in one of those this one is supposed to be snapped onto there so yeah basically from here we just have like three triangles we have the exact same on this side they kind of overlap a little bit but that's at the back like i don't really mind too much you're not really going to see that either um and then obviously when we switch all these it's going to look a lot nicer boom nice so yeah a little bit of an eyesore but again like you don't even see that from the front you know um so yeah that's that's what i was talking about in terms of like the roof looping around um there's probably a way to maybe do it without having that weird kind of thing there but again i'm okay with it it doesn't really bother me and also another thing we need to go ahead and place some pillars on top here and we're just gonna follow this whole way around uh with the pillars and we're gonna switch these to the frontier ones i need to get some more pillars actually just like adding a little cap to the top of these uh roofs because they just uh i don't know they look a little bit weird if you don't do something like that i think uh, also, I, I placed down some stuff right here. This is kind of uh, adding to the uh, the aesthetic, but also the sign's going to be, like, kind of right in front of these pieces. So it's literally just two quarter walls 
and then a railing there um and then there's also a railing snapped kind of sort of into that thing there so let me see do i have my railings let's pop that here so yeah basically snapped a railing right there and then we're gonna go ahead and do that right there you don't see that from the front which is nice but obviously you see it a little bit from the back but again not really too much of an issue um so yeah one thing that uh, I, I got um here let me pull up my dms so yeah um i sent like a photo of this thing without uh it didn't have these peaks on it at all like these uh these slope roofs or anything but i sent a photo of my progression to heather and she said um immediately she loves red dead and she just immediately sent like a photo of um i think she said it's called armadillo in red dead um and it's like a saloon and uh yeah then i decided to add those little like um those uh sloped uh pieces and then obviously that roof up there so basically it was all of this except for those two bits so um yeah i i guess unintentionally I, I managed to make something fairly similar to that but then again most saloons kind of if they if they're a corner thing like this they mostly kind of look the same anyway don't they but um yeah i don't know I, it just made me know like i was doing a pretty good job um because they look very very similar actually so yeah anyway um Let's see. Yeah, I need to kind of fill out a couple more things. Uh, let me actually just show you the inside as well. It's going to gamma up just because. Um, but yeah, so here's what we're looking at on the inside. Uh, obviously, we have our windows there. We have our little support beams. I still need to switch some of the skins. I need to switch that skin. Uh, I also need to add another pillar over to here. But um, yeah, so far, so good. Our whole upstairs, I believe it's there. Let me check. Yeah, so this ceiling right here needs to go because that's actually going to be our way up. Let me grab some stuff. I wonder, is it possible for me to just get a little bit closer to that to just pick it up? Uh, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and just jump up here. Okay, and then hop off and hopefully we can fit through. Yeah, almost. Get in my way. Okay, thank you. Um... Yeah, so here is the way up. So we're going to use some of the um, these staircase pieces. I think it needs to be the other way. Is that the right way? Yeah, I believe that's correct. Okay, cool. So then from here, we're just going to snap down. And boom, like that. So that is our staircase up to the second level. And of course, just like every other structure, it seems, they also have their own frontier variant as well. I'll tell you right now, I, I, there's something about these stairs in ASA, like, I don't think I'd want to walk up that at all, like, just in general, like, the inside of the step, like, that's like a ladder, <laughs> you know, I, it just, I don't think I'd want to walk up this at all, like, that looks terrifying, um, yeah, like, I've, I've toured a couple, like, castles around Ireland, and, and it, there's, you know, some of the staircases are, are, are a little bit more forgiving than this, <laughs> like the spiral ones um that is crazy though like that looks terrifying this is like you wouldn't ever be able to pass by somebody on the stairs imagine if there was a fire hopefully that doesn't happen in our build here so um yeah anyway <laughs> i just i don't know it's wild to me so uh let's see do we have any walls we actually do which is amazing um let me see so our actual little uh thing no that's that's the opposite way so our actual uh bedroom type things are gonna be right here so i believe maybe i'll put the door here so let's go ahead and snap a door there we're gonna switch that back to this and then boom like that so this is gonna be like a little bedroom here um it's gonna section off from there and it's just gonna come across a little bit like i tried to explain earlier but not very well um so that this wall is gonna come right across to here and then it's going to go over to here and then over to there. Um, we're going to have some windows on the outside because obviously that leads to the actual outside. Um, eventually, there will be a new building there. That's actually going to be like the general store kind of thing. Um, and I figured having these two things like side by side is going to look pretty cool. And I've already built that out in single player as well. But I don't I don't think I'll be able to get that done here today as well. I was hoping to try and do it, but it might not happen. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what we're looking at here. Uh, obviously I need to grab some more walls and everything, but, um, yeah, these are like, you know, you may be wondering why there's a bedroom above a, a saloon. Um, sometimes, you know, in these, in these movies and, and, and shows and everything, there's, there's often an upstairs area, uh, for reasons we're not going to go into them. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes people come up here with, with other people and, um, and yeah, so... <laughs> 
I was hoping to maybe, uh, like, it would be great if I could get the skin for the Valentine's love bed. I actually don't know if I've even seen it properly, but if I can get that, I might be able to put that in here, and I think that's going to look really funny, but, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, either way, though, we're, um, probably going to put a chair in the corner. You know why. Um, <laughs> So yeah, let me, let me just get some of this stuff done. Uh, I'll just section out these two rooms, and then what we'll be left with is pretty much like a shape in the middle for another room, which I actually, I may think, I think I may have actually come across by one too many here. So yeah, let me, let me figure that stuff out. Yeah, I do believe it was actually three. And then let's see if we're going to snap from, let's just go from here instead. Yeah, so the rooms are going to be uh, three by three. And then we're going to put a window there and a window there and then a regular... Oh, I went too, went too far. There we go. Regular one in the middle. Um, We're also going to be able to put down the uh, the glass windows in there as well. Let me go ahead and grab some. Not like this. I'll, I'll show you. All right. So let me see. Um, We're going to basically put that in there, but I'm going to snap it so the arrow is pointing at the top, which means that it opens upwards like that. And then, of course, we're going to switch this to the glass structure, which looks really nice. I like that a lot. And then, obviously, they can open up like that to air out all the uh, the, the smell. Um, yeah, so let's flip that to there. And then that's right there. It actually didn't even look like I was placing that skin at all. Let's see. So then boom, boom, boom. And then nice so yeah that's uh that's pretty much like the footprint of these like little bedrooms um up on top here uh do i even have any on me i might no i don't but yeah we're gonna put uh you know the uh the quarter walls right there to just kind of like fill in that gap and then uh fill in the whole gap here um i'm wondering if i did all that right because i'm not sure if that looks right maybe it does it's kind of hard for me to remember everything um but yeah there's not going to be a staircase on this side so um let's see where did i have that doorway I think, yeah, I moved the... No, I actually didn't move the doorway across. I'll probably keep it here, though, actually. That's okay. So we're just going to do that exact same thing on this side. Let me come from this side and just... Uh, I need to snap it off of this piece. There we go. Cool. So... Wait, which way did I have it? Oh, yeah, I had the doorway the furthest one away. Cool. And then switch that back. We want some walls right here. And then you'll see they kind of, like, create a bit of a weird shape between them. But that's okay. I'm all, I'm all, I'm okay with that. It's, it's fine. Uh, we will actually be left with, like, a weird area back here that, um, I never found any use for because you wouldn't be able to really get in here. Maybe I can put, I could probably make one of these walls, like, a secret door or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just, like, a little secret room just for me. Uh, boom. I, that, that makes it sound like I sit in there and listen. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Let's uh let's go ahead and get these place down. Cool. Um yeah, so basically the exact same thing. Look at that sunrise, man. That's crazy. Whoo! Looks beautiful. Alright, and then yeah, exact same thing here. Um let me get this one last wall in here. Nice. I guess you know what? We'll go ahead and just make this a secret door as well, because why not? Not like it really ruins anything. It doesn't make it look different. It's supposed to be secret. Oh, crap. I accidentally switched that. So, yeah. We are left with this, like, weird thing here. But that's okay. You know, it, it's fine. Don't really uh, don't really care too much about it. Um, obviously, it's on both sides. We could probably maybe just put something there to kind of block that off. But it is what it is. I just, like, I want to make use of all of this space if I can. Because, like, there's a lot of space here. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see. So... Not a secret door, but a normal... Let's snap it from here. Uh, there we go. Can I do that? Hang on. Don't know why I'm having such trouble. There we go. Yeah, that snapped the correct way. This right here is going to be a normal uh, little, like, door in here. And like I said, this is going to be, like, a little uh, storage room or just something like that. I don't know. There we go. And a door, and we're actually going to be using a regular one here. So, yeah, that's what the regular um, frontier door looks like, which is very nice, actually. I like that a lot. Uh, of course, all these things are going to have doors on them. I might maybe make them open the same way as well, actually. It would make sense for that one to open up uh, towards the corner. Wait, which way is that going to open? I think flipping it. Does that do it? No, that, now it opens up the other way. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I didn't flip the other one, so that's that was what I was getting confused about. Okay, hang on. No, 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 no. What I needed to do was, instead of flipping it, I needed to switch the snap point. 
So yeah, I guess the, the arrows point to where the hinge would be. Um, which I think is a little bit... In my mind, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess it kind of does at the same time. Weird. Anyway. So that's pretty much, like, the whole upstairs here. Um, obviously, I just need to do all, like, the finer details, like popping in these windows. Uh, not like that, although that is what the, uh, the Frontier normal one looks like. I'm gonna switch that to the glass. Nice. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, that's like the three rooms done. Uh, for the moment, you know, I'm not going to decorate the inside. I just want to get the build done for, for, for today. So, um, yeah, this is like the whole upstairs. So just like, you know, you, you walk up, there's a, a little bedroom here. Uh, there's a little storage room right here. I'll probably go ahead and maybe get some signs or something above them or something like that, like storage, bedroom one, bedroom two, um, something like that. But, um, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'll decorate that at like another stage, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, go ahead and get a wall here. I keep hitting this thinking that that's a wall just because I'm using those walls everywhere, but not technically. Uh, I might make this a window as well, maybe. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. You know what? Hmm. It might actually look good. I don't think I had it like that in my build. I don't think I did. You know what? We won't do that just because it might ruin the... No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it might ruin the aesthetic. Yeah, let's just go ahead and keep that as like a regular one. And then obviously another wall right here. Boom. So yeah, we just got to fill in the outside trim there. Uh, let me just show you from the outside again what it, what's all kind of looking like. Uh, Procoptodon is on the roof. Cool. <laughs> All right, so yeah, here's what it roughly looks like. But just remember, we're going to fill that in. So um, also, we need to actually fill in this back area too. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, like, I'm sure you can kind of understand what I'm going to do here. I'll just fill it all in. I'll get it all done. I'll kill these dire wolves too. <sighs> Turds, get out of here. Nice, got them. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. You, you may be wondering why there's like no windows out the back or anything like that. I, I feel like it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to have them there. Mainly because uh, I think most of these places are usually fairly dark on the inside. So it doesn't really make huge amount of sense putting a ton of windows back here. Uh, I will probably decorate out the walls with some stuff. Maybe some like uh, we can get some like pictures made or something like that. Um, you know, just get like some art on the walls or something. Um, but yeah, so in terms of how the actual inside is going to work... Um, I'm thinking poker table kind of under the stairs in the corner would be kind of nice. Um, I was thinking like maybe like a fancy kind of couch area over here. Maybe like almost like a cigar smoking area. Uh, the bar is going to run from like here over to here and then like loop towards the wall. Um, and then we'll have some stools out in front. And then, you know, I'm not going to leave a massive open area like these these kind of places wouldn't have had that. So uh, we'll probably end up putting like some of the big fancy tables here and here. And just kind of decorating out the place with enough stuff to kind of fill it in. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's essentially the plan in here. But obviously, I do need to finish off some of the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, let me get working on it. All right, just popping in some extra touches here. Uh, went ahead and put up a sign there. And obviously, these signs also have their little, like, structure variants, which look really, really good. That's what it looked like right there. Um, trying to, like, roughly get that. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. All right, and we're looking at suite two. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead, and I really like the way you can increase the, the sign text. The only thing that I, I, would, I would say we'd benefit from is actually, like, a, a counter as to how many times we've done that. You know, like, maybe a number. So this would be whatever the minimum would be. That would be, like, zero, then one, two, three, you know, just trying to, like, I don't know, figure it out. To the stage where um where we can kind of like know what they're at because obviously i don't know how many there are here unless i count them so i i'm gonna count back by seven and that should match the other one we're gonna go ahead and shuck the structure skin onto that as well and there we go sweet two and above this one i'm probably just gonna put another one just saying storage why did i use metal signs over wooden signs i don't know i i was just like yeah you know what let's make some signs and then i was thinking I probably want to make them out of metal, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's not how you spell storage. Storage, boom, and let's go ahead and just increase that to max and then de decrease it down by maybe around seven. Maybe one more because it's a longer word than sweet. 
Uh, I think that's good. And then let's go ahead and place our structure skin onto that as well. Nice. Uh, that's Yeah, that is a little bit big. So let's decrease that maybe twice. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Alrighty, so um, right here I'm gonna need to get down a billboard. Um, don't worry about that beam in the middle. Let's see, I gotta try and get this down in like the right spot. We're gonna switch this to the uh, the structure variant as well. That looks like roughly in the middle, so I'm gonna go with that. Is that okay? That looks good, right? I think it does. Let's go ahead and switch that. So obviously, that's beautiful. That is so much better. Um, yeah, just kind of clip into what I have here a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And of course, for the moment, I'm just going to call it a saloon. But maybe if we have some ideas, not, you know, nothing as simple as just syntax saloon. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and make that text very, very big. <laughs> let's see. Um, mm, that's probably good. Yeah, that, that looks good. Nice. So yeah, here's a, ooh, that's my butt. Here's um here's what we're looking at. It it honestly looks so so good. As you can see, I've added in some like extra details. Um I fi finished off with all those pillars on the top of the roof there. I added some pillars kind of like going along here. We have uh some railings coming along here and kind of like matching up with this part here. Uh with these metal ones, you may be wondering why they're they're thicker right there. That's cuz I flipped these ones. So that's the that's the bottom side up. Um so yeah, it's um it's looking really really good. Um yeah, definitely. Anyway, uh now I've just realized I said bottom side up instead of upside down, which sounds very strange. Oh, can I not use this door? <gasps> oh. I might not be able to. Oh, okay, interesting. So I might have to make that one out of a wood sign then instead cuz the wood uh billboard, I don't have one to show you. The wood billboard does not have the um the beam in the middle it, it i don't think it does anyway it doesn't i don't think it does okay let's go ahead and switch that then so we can use this door still um i'm about to die <laughs> let's go ahead and get this done boom and then let's go ahead and just increase that to i think let's see probably i think it was around there maybe one more yeah well that's that's good that will work cool alrighty uh about to die again that's all good um yeah this is uh this is really really nice I'm, I'm so happy with the build like I I really you know I I don't think I'm an amazing aesthetic builder I think I can build cool looking things sometimes but like the finer details is something that I'm always working on so you know it's uh it's nice to be able to actually do things like this sometimes and I'm gonna die inside this bedroom <laughs> <laughs> that was a really weird dark thing to say oh i'm not dying anymore nice okay cool uh i guess uh I, i'd kind of prefer if i was dying so i could move quicker but it's all good um inside of here we're probably gonna go ahead and maybe put some ceilings in just kind of block this all off um yeah just because like i don't like this shape but i can't not have that there because if i remove those pieces then we're going to be missing part of the actual roof to the whole building um did I show you these pillars? I can't remember if I did. I just put some pillars there. Uh, it's nothing special, but they're pillars. Um, let's see what else. There was one more thing that I was hoping to try and do, and that is make a water tower. And I think I might try and do that now as well. It's not going to be a super complicated thing. Um, should be fairly simple, so we should be able to get that done. Let's just go ahead and snap off of that, and then we'll just yeah place these across there. I need a couple more ceilings, but I, I think I've run out of them completely. See, boom. So yeah, I'll fill that one in. Um, obviously we have that weird shape, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. You know, there's got to be some, you know, sacrifices in terms of some aesthetics here and there. But you know, all in all, I think it's it's looking really really nice. Uh, the storage room has a roof, of course, because that is the roof of the actual building. And then obviously this one's the exact same. Uh, maybe what I'll do is just to kind of like keep with some aesthetics is I'm actually probably gonna put some sloped uh, scaffolding pieces right here. And that is essentially gonna, I, I guess, just act as like a, almost like a little like attic space up there or something. Let's see, I can't actually point the camera up there and show you unfortunately, but yeah, you, you, you could understand that there is a space up there. You've seen it. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably get that done as well. Let's see how, okay, I'm no longer dying as much. Here's what the water tower is gonna basically look like. We're gonna snap uh, some of these on here. I might actually try and align them so they're like, kind of like a pattern like this. So, you know, 
Uh, this one goes down, it meets another one, it goes down, you know, that kind of pattern. Let's see, we just got to flip the occasional one here. There you go, cool. So we're essentially just going to build this up by a bunch, and I guess we can continue that pattern as we go here. Definitely going to need a couple more scaffolding pieces. I did make a bunch beforehand, but then I ended up using just a few, so yeah, it's all good. Let's see um definitely a lot higher maybe i'm trying to think like i want obviously i want the water tower to be visible over the saloon so maybe at minimum i would say at least seven tall is good so that's uh what is that five so far let's do six can i do that i can't jump right now so i can't actually <laughs> oh no let's see there we go yeah so i'll uh i'll probably have to die again real quick and then um and then continue this but yeah uh, i'm gonna need some more of this stuff anyway um but yeah maybe two more on top of that and then we'll have like a platform and then the water tower will be uh on top of that sorry the water reservoir uh i cannot spawn can i yeah no i can't uh i do have a sleeping that's way over there yeah cool 24 seconds all good definitely need more beds in my area though just realized i've been gammed up for a little while um anyway <laughs> Don't know how long it's been looking washed out. Uh, here is the uh, the water tower. Obviously, we just need the reservoir up on top. I kind of went overboard with the pillars. I somewhat kind of regret putting that many in, but it's all good. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's looking real nice. And obviously, it is pretty visible from above the um, the saloon as well, which is what I wanted. Uh, let's see. We got to... Can I... Eh, I want to snap some rope ladders there. Um, I, I figured, you know what? A way up to the actual thing would be kind of handy. Yeah, I don't know. Can I... I guess I can do that from down here. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? There you go. Nice. Uh, let's try and just continue these snapping. I'm looking. Hang on. Let's turn on H. No, that's not helping. I think it's because I'm mounted. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can I get through this ribcage? Mm, yeah, I can. Cool. Nice. Um, eh. Ooh, we had it. Hey, there we go. Okay, we got to look in a very strange direction to get this here. There we go. Okay, another one. Another one. Uh, there we go. Nice. So that is our way up and, of course, also down. Um, I'll probably keep this as a rope ladder just because I, if I use the frontier structures, it's it's going to look a little bit more blocky and kind of like the rope ladder look. Um, let's see. So here is the water reservoir. This is also part of the Bob's Tall Tales. Um, it's basically just like a bigger version of like the smaller reservoirs. Uh, it can hold more water, of course. Um, let's see. Is that... Yeah, that like roughly looks like it's kind of in the center. Let me see. Let me just, like, zoom in and take a closer look. So it's, like, a little bit just on the edge of where the lip is. Okay, I can see a little bit more. Okay, when I go forward, it actually... Hang on. I gotta... Wait. Let's just slowly... Okay, I moved it to the side a little bit. I want to try and get this, like, roughly in the center. Okay, I gotta bring it back. It looks good. Nice. So that's the water tower. Um, I wish... You know, this is fairly blocky. I was going to say, I wish it was a little bit more blocky. <laughs> I, I think it's probably fine. Let's uh, let's hop down, get away from this area, and just take a little look at it. I'm probably going to end up dying again pretty soon because it is very, very hot. Obviously, you know, we could ditch this whole, like, trim on the outside, but I do like the idea of having a little platform you can get up to. Yeah, I think it looks nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I ditch the little trim on it and just have it as the res reservoir sitting on top of the... Um, the little hexagon at the top or should i keep the trim i like the trim i do like the trim i do wish that there was you know you know the way that we have like the quarter uh foundations and ceilings and everything i wish that we had a triangle piece that was the same size as them you know like we have this quarter um the, like these quarter pieces but we don't have a triangle for them and i kind of wish that we did have that because then you know you could add just like an extra layer to a base um and I don't know. I just feel like it would it would make a lot more sense. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I think that's that's the build, guys. I think that's good for the moment. Obviously, there's a lot of detail. I'll want to probably put some lights out front. I'll probably put some of those new like frontier street lamp type things. Um, and uh, yeah, there's like a couple more details. I'll probably just end up like chucking a bunch of stuff around the place, like barrels and stuff just out front. Maybe a couple uh, clay pots and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe, like, a bench here or something. We'll figure it out. There's, there's a lot of things that I can do, of course, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's taken a toll on me, man. This was, uh, this is a very, very long building process. Um, I got a lot of it done quick, but then it was, like, the finer details that took so much more time, and forgetting to make any pillars at all really just ruined, 
um, so much of my uh, my speed here as well. So yeah, um, just in general, let's let's take a look at it from like a distance as well. Let's just like move pretty far back, drop the hood as well, and ooh, getting stuck. Let's see. So yeah, you can see it's it's looking real nice. Obviously, with some better lighting, it would look even nicer. But um, yeah, I don't know. I like it a lot. I really do. Obviously, this uh, water tower here is to kind of like bridge the gap between the edge of that and what will eventually be another building along here, kind of along the same um, the same uh, like line of uh, foundations or whatever. So yeah, that's uh, that's just something to kind of break up the area as well, actually. And also, I think it looks really nice over the back of the saloon and. Just in general, you would kind of think that you would have, like, the water tower kind of close to the saloon anyway. Because, um, you know, that's where everybody would probably, like, end up eating and drinking. Mostly drinking. And, obviously, you need water for a lot of things. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I, th I think I really like the shop that I've got going on right here, though. It it's really, really nice. Um, oh, man. You guys, like, uh, I got I got so many great ideas. I think this little town is going to be a really cool project. The only thing about it is, like, it's not a functional base. That's the only thing that uh, I'm not super happy with, you know. I could probably end up maybe using that storage room upstairs to, like, put away some creatures, uh, maybe hide a generator. Uh, we don't really have that much wind in this area. It's only, like, 20%, so that kind of sucks. So we're not really going to be able to make use of uh, windmills a whole lot, but I will still have some for aesthetics and everything. Obviously, the new windmill is going to be really good to break up the skyline as well. So we'll definitely have one of those somewhere, probably around here, actually, as well. But, um, yeah. Guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed this one, if you have enjoyed this build, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Um, really would appreciate it. Obviously, building videos, um, you know, they're kind of hit, hit and miss sometimes. Hopefully, this one's a hit. Um, I put a lot of work into designing this in my single player. Um, we just, we got more details to add to it now. So, we'll work on the inside at some stage. Maybe I'll do some of it and just show you, uh, what I've done. But, um, yeah. Uh, I think that's that's pretty much it. Let me actually let me just show you one thing. I went ahead and actually added some pillars here to kind of like bridge the gap between those two sides. So I think that looks a lot nicer as well. Figured I'd just show that off real quick. I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did. Anyway, yeah, that is it. And I will catch you in the next one, which won't be as washed out as right now because I'll probably gamble down. <laughs>